chosen a really good day for a dig. Much better being outdoors than in a classroom today. We're at Thetford Grammar School to join with Year 9 in their second What's Under Your Feet dig of the year. Let's see what they found. In the first year of this EDF Energy Schools programme, more than 250 schools took part around the UK. BTO scientists have already analysed those data and found some interesting results. One of the things we found is that during the year, the abundance of soil invertebrates changes. It's harder to find earthworms in the drier summer months, for example. And that's exactly the time of year when birds are trying to feed their young. Why are you guys over here? What's under your feet? Might not be a question you've considered before, unless you're a tightrope walker. But in fact, wherever we are, underneath us, there's a huge and really important community of soil invertebrates. An invertebrate is an animal without a backbone. It is soft on the inside and has an exoskeleton, which means it's like a shell, but it's skeleton on the outside of its body. Brilliant. And these soil invertebrates actually do a really important job for the ecosystem. Okay, so they help to decompose the soil, say like in composting things, and spread the nutrients around. So they're absolutely vital to all living organisms in the food chain. So this investigation is taking part across the whole of the UK. Schools all over, all over Britain are taking part. Finn, when you're planning an investigation, what sort of things do you need to consider? Uh, sort of weather conditions, because I've taken into account the size of the plot that you're digging out, uh, because if you don't, otherwise it's an outbound test. And also, you've got to do the same sort of places, so school fields, where we're doing it. Absolutely great. So it's all about controlling variables, and, and that habitat one, the school field, is really important. By getting schools involved across the UK, we're keeping the habitat the same, and that means we can uh, analyse the data and understand how soil invertebrate populations are differing in different parts of the country. And the results of the work will be published in a peer-reviewed scientific paper, which is how scientists share the work that they've been doing. So what's stopping you? Become a BTO citizen scientist today. You never know, you might want to make science your career.